Welcome to the Harrow College virtual open day session for ESOL. If you've not registered for our open days previously, then please fill out our registration form on our open days page. The link will be added to the chat box so we can send you the recording for this session and keep you updated with information about the college. If you have any questions, please type them into the chat box and we will aim to answer those at the end of the session. I will now hand over to both of my colleagues who will talk about studying ESOL at Harrow College. Over to you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much, Natasha, Anjali. Um, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us on this virtual open day. My name is Kaval, and I'll explain full-time provision for ESOL at Harrow College. And then my colleague, Liz, will explain the part-time provision day and evening. Next slide, please. So uh, we recognize that English and maths are your first steps towards um, finding uh, a career for yourself in this in the UK. And therefore, um, we contextualize our teaching of English and maths so that you may be able to relate the content to some of the career choices that you will make later on. Um, whatever job that you that you decide to do, you will need a very strong foundation of English and maths. And we are here to provide you just the next slide, please. So full-time courses for young people, uh, and by young people, uh, we mean 16 plus, and I'll explain that a little bit more later on. Um, if you're 16 to 18, and um, if you're a beginner or from the assessment that we um, do after uh, we meet you, if you come out to be at entry one or entry two, we have full-time courses for you, which um, are 35 weeks long. We start in September and we finish in June. And for this academic year, we are nearly coming to the end of our 2021 provision. So our new courses will start in September. They are 16 and a half hours a week over four days. You get one day off um, to um, study further at home in your own time. Uh, so really, uh, you, you get two qualifications on our full-time courses. You get the ESOL and the maths. And also you get weekly tutorials. Um, the tutor is there to help you give you a holistic experience and to iron out any difficulties that you may have as you begin your journey with us at Harrow College. And perhaps you're new to the, to the city and to the country. And so it is very important um, that you uh, attend the tutorials, which uh, will help you to um, engage not only in all aspects of your study, but also to feel comfortable uh, living and studying at Harrow College. We, um, sorry, if you go back a the slide. So at entry, beginners in entry one and two, uh, besides the tutorials, we have assignments for you, geography, science and art, and these may be the first time that you have studied these in English. Uh, we also have work module, uh, which is designed to help you uh, build up some skills, which will help you later in your life, whether you're pursuing higher studies or you are you go into full-time employment or part-time employment. You will also be de developing your digital skills, um, which have become very important, especially in this day and age. Next slide, please. Um, if, you, if your um, assessment uh, with us shows that you are at a slightly higher level, which is entry three, then we have uh, full-time courses with, for you, again, uh, with the same timetable of 35 weeks, 17 hours a week over four days. But besides English and maths, you will be working towards a vocational qualification. Now vocational, I mean a study, uh, a course that will help you get the basic knowledge um, to go to further studies in that area, okay? For example, next slide, please. Um, these are some of the areas, uh, these are some of the vocational subjects that we teach at entry three, along with ESOL and math. So it, the, the areas are childcare, science, IT, 
and business. Now these courses will really provide you the basic knowledge and the English to pursue courses at higher level, level one um, and level two as well. Next slide, please. Um, we also have full-time course at level one and two, besides um, the courses that I just mentioned. Um, this is the GCSE science package for ESOL. Um, this course is very popular for students who want to pursue a career in medicine or science related, um, related um, career opportunities. Um, and again, if you notice, besides ESOL and maths, uh, it offers you the opportunity to study biology, chemistry, and physics um, at um, the GCSC level. Uh, for all these courses, for all our full-time courses at entry three and level one or two, we also offer mandatory work experience opportunity for one week. This usually happens in May of the academic year. So May that has just passed, our students went out for work experience in, in a related um, area. For example, those who were studying childcare went to do work experience in a childcare setting. And those who were studying science went on to do the work experience in pharmacies and other science related settings. For business, um, they were able to go into retail environment and really see for themselves um, how uh, people work in the real environment. And from the feedback that we received from the students, this has been an extremely valuable opportunity for them to actually see their knowledge being put into practice. So whatever they learn in the college, this is an opportunity for them to see how to put it into practice in the real um, world of work. Next slide, please. So when you, when you complete ESOL, um, uh, courses with us, uh, you are able to progress to, no, to a wide range of courses at level one at level two within, within Harrow College. And also um, some you could go on to study at Uxbridge College, which is uh, part of the HCUC um, provision. So at level one, we have courses in IT, business, art and media. Students also can go on to the sports academy construction, plumbing, electrical. GCSE students go on to BTEC level three, applied science or to AS levels. And we, our students even progress on to access courses because sometimes we, uh, you have come with a lot of skills and knowledge, perhaps from another uh, country, a country um, where you have come from. We recognize that and so um, this our ESOL provision not only helps you with your English and maths, but also gives you the confidence because our, um, our, the staff that teach on ESOL courses are, are from a varied variety of background and experiences. So they're able to see and help you and to plan your career, your future uh, with you. And that is an invaluable asset to the ESOL team. Um, so we, we, we would highly recommend you to start with us uh, and come and talk to us more about what you hope to do in the future. Next slide, please. Um, I've been talking about English and vocational subjects, but maths on our full-time courses um, are uh, very important because uh, we recognize that whatever you do, uh, you really need some number skills, some numer skills, not only for your personal life, but whatever job uh, you are in, it is very important that you understand some basic numbers. Um, so we, the qualifications we provide you are functional skills in maths, uh, which could be at any level, entry level. And if you're really good at maths, we also give you the opportunity to do level one and even GCSE maths. So what happens is when you, when you join us, we give you diagnostic tests in the first few weeks to assess your level, both in English and maths. And then we were able to guide you uh, and place you on the right course, um, which will suit your ability.
activities and meet your interests. Next slide, please. Um, these are some of the testimonials from our previous students. I'll like you to read it for yourself, give you a few seconds to read it. And something to add on to um, jumping levels. Um, we, we really encourage students to develop more than the basic. And so we do expect them to be able to study uh, a lot on their free day. Um, and of course, some do, and they're able to jump levels. Um, they're able to go straight from entry three to level two. And this year, we've even got students jumping on to access programs. Um, just as an ex example, we've got a um, student studying on childcare who's been, um, who's had some vocational work experience in her country of origin in the field of nursing. And so um, they, by her joining ESOL, she was able to not only um, brush up her basic English and maths, but also gain confidence enough and is progressing um, jumping two levels and progressing on to access to nursing. So really, uh, we're here to support you. Whatever your dream is, we're here to help you achieve your dream. Next slide, please. Um, some of the things that we've done in the past, of course, pre-pandemic uh, conditions, we've met together and we are very good at celebrating um, students' heritage and culture and uh, one of the ways in which we did has been through um, um, organizing expos and uh, fairs in which students have uh, heartily participated. Next slide, please. Uh, I'm going to now hand over to my colleague who's going to run you through our part-time provision at Hare College. Over to you, Liz. Thanks. Thanks, Kawal. Um, my name's Liz. Um, I know we've got someone just joined us. Um, we're going to be talking now about the part-time courses. Um, our part-time courses are thinking for adults, so that's anybody age 19 plus. On some of the courses Kawal was talking about, which are full-time, there are spaces for people who are 19 to maybe 23, and on the childcare course for people who are adults. Um, but the ones I'm looking at are just for people who are 19 plus. So any age up to 70 even. Now, the, we have courses in the daytime and we have courses in the evening. So if we look at some of them in the daytime, um, we've got courses that start from right beginner and go all the way up to level two. Now, the levels depend on your language level. So everybody is different and we will do an assessment as part of your interview to check what you've done before with your language, with your English language, and what uh, level is the best one for you now. So this just shows you some of the courses we do. We do them in, uh, some of them, most of them are done in semesters. So we start in September and go on and finish the first semester in March, um, usually focusing on speaking and listening as the main qualification. And then we move on to reading qualification and then writing qualification by the end of the year. But we also do lots of other qualifications with those because we don't, it's not just about your language, it's about how you're using your language and how you're developing your other skills. So lots of our students come from their own country with skills in maths, with lots of knowledge about the world, but it's about being able to use that in English. So apart from speaking and listening, reading and writing, we do maths. Um, we do something called living and working in the UK. So thinking about building your knowledge of life and work in the UK. And we do an employability, something related to employment, which also includes your digital skills, knowing about work and the environment of work. And at the higher level, we do a course in volunteering as well. Next slide, please. For our level two, um, which is the highest level that we do in terms of ESOL, so that's speaking and listening, reading and writing, um, we're aware at that level, 
sometimes people have got jobs, they've got other studies they're doing. So the courses don't have quite so many things, uh, qualifications added. Um, but they do include a volunteering course and they do Im include employability skills. And for, I think it's next slide, please. Thank you. Um, and just to finish on the last one in the day, we're starting a new course this next year for those that have finished level two and still need a bit of preparation if they want to go on to further study or to in, go uh, into promotions in their jobs. Um, and so the, we're looking at what else we can offer people to develop their skills and help them be more successful. Now in the evening, it's a bit similar to the day. We've got levels from pre-entry up to level one. Um, with progression from level one, people can go on and do a functional skills English course. So this follows the two semesters, so September to March and then March to June. And it's in the evenings, Tuesdays and Thursday evenings from 6.15. And it also includes maths for most of the levels and it includes some IT, some digital skills. So it's really trying to expand to make it to develop your, your language alongside your other skills that you need for work and for further study in the UK. Next slide, please. So we've talked a lot about what we offer, what different courses we have. And this is a little view of thinking about how you will learn and how you will study at Harrow College with us in the ESOL section. So we use presentations, we use discussion, role plays, lots of things to develop your English language speaking skills and listening skills. We look at writing for words, sentences, text, all the different ways that you've got to think about using words when you're writing them down, communicating with different people, whether on social media, whether in letters, emails, whether in writing for your portfolios and your exams. Use pair and group work, blended learning, that means using digital and live. So during the lockdown recently, all the lessons were done on Zoom or something like this on Zoom or another platform. Um, but when we're in college, we also make use of those different things as well because they all help learning. Um, tests, quizzes, lots of different things, case studies, problem solving. And for all our qualifications, they either do an exam or a portfolio, which is showing your evidence of what you understand and what you've learned. So that is an overview of what we offer in ESOL for both full-time and part-time. Um, and I think we're able to take questions now. Is that right, Anjali? I think we've got one more slide, yes. So as Kual said, we will assess you to get you in the right level. We will also look at your previous qualifications, qualifications you've done in the UK and qualifications you've done in your own country. And we will want to know what your interests are so we can try and match you to the best course. So I think we're ready for questions. Yes, I think that's it. So if I can request anybody with a question to uh, type that into the chat box and um, we can get some answers for you. And don't worry if you can't type it all correctly. We will understand what you mean. Absolutely. Um, nothing's come through yet, but I can ask a question on everybody's behalf, I suppose. Um, what would, um, how would you assess um, what my level is when I come for the initial um, exam to, to check what level I'm at? So when people come for interview, the first thing, of course, is we say hello. Um, <laughs> and uh, just finding out by those very little questions what someone's level of English is. So, of course, um, some people come and they can say very little and that immediately we're knowing we're looking at a beginner course um, and we might ask them to do a bit of writing um, if they're able to. For those that are showing stronger English, they'll all be asked to do a little bit of writing for us, which means they've read what the questions are and they're showing how much they can write and in what way they write. And it's using those two things, the speaking and listening, the conversation and looking at someone's writing um, as well as whatever they've done before. It's really important to know if you've been at any 
done any ESOL courses, any English language courses before, we want to know what you've done so, so that we can help that to place you as well. Okay, wonderful. Um, we haven't had any questions come through, so I think I will wrap up. Um, so thank, thank you both of you for uh, that informative presentation. Uh, I hope everybody found this session useful. You can view the Welcome to Harrow College session on our website and we will send you a link to that and this recording in the next few days. If you would like more detailed course information, please visit our website at www.harrow.ac.uk forward slash courses. Our full time prospectus is available online under the prospectuses tab on the Harrow College website and the link is in the chat too. If you're ready to apply, we're accepting applications online and that's the easiest way. So please visit the website and head to the course you're interested in and click the orange apply button. If you'd like any advice and support before you join the college, please get in touch. The email address is in the chat box or you can head to our website. Um, we hope you enjoyed this session and uh, please check out the other curriculum sessions that we had running today once we upload them online. That's all from us and uh, we look forward to welcoming you all to Harrow College. Thank you for mm. attending. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.